It's so dark down here. I can't see a thing. Oh no, what a nightmare. Toph Beifong is one of the most popular characters in Avatar The Last Airbender, and it's not difficult to see why. She's a blind Chinese girl with overprotective parents who becomes the strongest earthbender in history not in spite of her disability, but because of it. Being blind is what allows Toph to become so attuned with the powers of the earth more so than any other character in the series. Although Princess Azula, Mei, and Tai Li technically appeared in the show before her, Toph is the only female character other than Katara to become a core protagonist. I mean, Azula is really important to the fabric of the narrative as a threatening antagonist, but unlike Azula, Toph is a character that the audience is actively rooting for. And if you ask me, there's this one other detail that makes Toph Beifong's character super significant. One overlooked bit of information that will change the way that you view the show forever. Because the thing is, she wasn't even meant to be a girl to begin with. According to Avatar creators Brian Konetsko and Michael Dante DiMartino, they originally envisioned Toph as a blind, muscle-bound jock boy who would still teach Avatar Aang earthbending, but it wasn't until the intervention of head writer Aaron Ehaz that Toph's character design shifted to that of a girl. However, this wasn't a case of gender bending, this was a completely different character design created during the pre-production process that Konitsuko initially rejected. And although some people might say that a fictional character's gender doesn't matter, I wholeheartedly disagree. Tough Beifong being a girl helps give her storyline texture, revealing that people don't underestimate her, look down on her, or be overprotective of her simply because she's blind, but also because they're sexist, and it ties into The Last Airbender's consistent theme of examining female gender norms. Katara and Azula definitely challenge traditional feminine expectations both within the Avatar universe and outside of it, but most of that is only demonstrated by their morality and action scenes where they fight people, while Toph's defiance of gender norms is expressed throughout her entire personality. She's loud, stubborn, rude, abrasive, and aggressive because she's deliberately rebelling against the high-class mannerisms that were forced upon her since birth. Which, to me, makes Toph Beifong the most relevant character to The Last Airbender's discussion of women, because she demonstrates that a girl's value isn't determined by her behavior or her able-bodiedness, but rather by herself as an individual. In other words, it's you who decides how important you really are. Normally, I think it's really stupid when there are petty conflicts between female characters in a story written by men, but I'll make an exception for Toph and Katara, because they don't actively hate each other, they just get on their nerves from time to time. And because the way that these conflicts are executed gives us more insight into their characters. It's not until the arguments between Katara and Toph Beifong that we start to realize that Katara is basically the team's mother figure, which is why the two are such great foils for each other. Toph forces Katara to become more self-aware of her motherly actions, while Katara forces Toph to confront her feelings towards her parents, specifically her mother, because at the end of the day, Toph still cares about her family. The whole reason why Toph went off to go meet with her mother near the end of Season 2 was because she believed that her mom was making an effort to understand her. And the reason why Toph still considers Katara to be an important friend is because she understands and cares about her more so than Toph's own parents. I don't know if she literally sees Katara as a mother figure in a similar way that Sokka does, but the interactions between Toph and Katara are tied to their femininity, and demonstrate how complex their characters are. Toph Beifong isn't some flat character who always acts out in the exact same way since their introduction, she's a person with internal mechanics and human emotions that aren't always on the surface. 
I'm not trying to speculate too much, but can you imagine how boring it would be if Toph was a male jock stereotype? If Toph Beifong was a boy like in Brian Konitsko and Michael Dante DiMartino's original character design, we would lose out on all the stuff that made Toph interesting. And as a result, Avatar The Last Airbender would not be as good of a show as it is today. Yes, the series had already been invested in its female characters prior to her introduction, but Toph Beifong enhanced those themes, challenged our expectations even further, and led the show to explore other female characters like Katara in more depth via their interactions. Although Toph may not have changed much as a character herself throughout the show, I believe that she changed the course of the show instead, creating a ripple effect that would not exist if we had been stuck with the original male character design. If you ask me, no other female character has changed Avatar The Last Airbender more so than Toph Beifong.